In Britain, the prices of alcohol are very cheap, as supermarkets and specialist shops have attractive offers on alcohol. This four-part documentary will be looking at the dangers of binge drinking. In part one, we'll be analysing the effects on mental health, how fights are provoked, and the offers that may promote binge drinking. If I were to put the prices up, then it would definitely stop a proportion of uh, the people that binge drink at the moment. Here, um, you know, we're obviously working with people who've got mental health problems. Um, a lot of people that drink, binge drink regularly suffer problems with their mental health over a long period of time. Um, and yeah, it can cause, can cause sort of psychological uh, problems um, and mental health problems for them in sort of later life. It does affect, um, you know, even just one weekend's heavy drinking can, um, you know, affect your uh, your mental cognition. It kills off. It can kill off a lot of uh, brain cells that you won't actually get back again. Some people drink alcohol for the purpose of getting drunk, rather than enjoying the taste, especially young people, as they can take advantage of student nights that occur in some bars and clubs, where you can expect to pay £5 for four alcoholic drinks. I don't really like alcohol for the taste, I like what it actually does as an effect to your body. There's a good price at a, like a crate or something, obviously that I have to do it, but obviously I'm not going to go to the low of the low and obviously buy something for a pound, obviously I do want some quality in regards to what I'm buying, so to a certain extent it does and a certain extent it doesn't. Obviously I don't do it to an extent where I'm obviously going to put myself in trouble or in danger. Uh, I just do it every, I don't know, maybe once a week, so I don't really see it as that much of a problem to my health or in general to society. When you're younger, obviously, you've been called by the police with alcohol on you, obviously, you've been pulled away and you've just been told about your parents. I think that's about it, though. Nothing, like, serious that I've been arrested for, like, my actions when I've been drinking or been drunk. Yeah, I think with all the booze that's out there, um, you can get drunk on only a couple of quid's worth of beer. We have promotions with double up for a pound and two Jaegerms for five pound. That could possibly promote binge drinking. No, we're promoting a night in, cheap night in for people. For probably younger people, um, they think uh, they they drink they drink for the um, to get drunk. Um, I think majority of older people probably drink more in moderation because they actually enjoy The average age in here is normally about 18 to 25. Um, 40 to 50 in my shop. Another problem that comes from binge drinking is the fights that occur, as some people get drunk and can become aggressive towards anyone, especially the police. Abuse, mainly on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights, when they've had a lot to drink, you get a lot of public order, uh, when the pubs are kicking out and stuff like that. Um, you normally have your fights then, and when we try and break it up, that's when we get abused, but it's only sort of swearing and stuff like that. No, we don't have trouble in here very often. A lot of them will drink in here before they go up to the sugar hut, and they do drink quite a lot. Really, um, we've been getting, since the sugar hut reopened, just prior to the, um, the sugar hut was on fire, um, we were getting quite nasty fights, GBHs, um, lots of assaults and stuff like that. One incident where um, a large group of males, Eastern Europeans and a large group of males from Romford, got into a fight and they actually used a bottle and one bloke got slashed from there to there in the face. Lots of blood uh, because of the severity of the incident we had to close roads off. Um, again there was blood all over the place so we had to get the council involved to clean it up. It's not nice for members of the public the next morning coming to work and that so that sort of impact. Also loud noise, music, you know stuff like that from the clubs and pubs. Join us after the break for part two. <laughs>